Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. It's John and Jamie. We are excited for this day. We've been waiting for it since the pigs have left the farrowing barn. We are going to be bringing pregnant females back into the barn. We've got a couple weeks. We have about a week in a couple days. A week and a couple days till our first litter. So we want to get them over there so they don't surprise us and have the piglets early. We've got two sows coming in today. We've got Delilah and Smitten. Um, Smitten is down here. So it's going to be a little bit of a walk. And Delilah, we turn around, Delilah is just on the other side of this barn. So we're going to walk her right in. She's going to get that end pen. And uh, Henry is with her. We talked last video about not putting the boars back together where they fight and to figure out who's the dominant boar, which it's never really that big of a problem, but we don't ever like to see it. So we're going to be adding two new females in with them. So we'll have pignet, piglets later this summer, early fall. So we're not going to put all the boars together this summer. We're just going to add other females in with them. So we've got two females coming in to the barn, and then we'll have two females going back out with the boars. So let's get started and start getting pigs moving. All right, so this is the end pen in our barn. We've got it set up. This is open so we can continue and take Henry down to that other barn um, so we've got it open right here and we need to get Delilah in here and Henry to keep moving So that may be a little difficult, but these pigs have never been an issue to move But oh, I thought I had to turn off the fence, but it's already off, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We took the charger so Delilah and Henry are in the barn. I'm sorry the pallet shelter <laughs> Come on pigs Should not be an issue getting them to follow us the issue will be keeping one in and letting the other one keep Good going. Job, Mama. Well, might not. Well, we liked Henry first, wouldn't we? I was going to say this will be easy if he don't come, but we want to get Henry to go through this area too so we don't have to walk him by any boars. Oh, Here comes. <laughs> that's not a problem. Get <laughs> one. Come on, pigs. <laughs> you come out of there snorting like an elephant and <laughs> charging like a bull. Come on, pigs. Come on. I'll get the fence behind you. Boars, when they always come out, they're scratching the ground and he'll start foaming because he's getting excited. I'm going to grab this fence here and just close it in. And once we get everybody situated where we want them, I will hook the clips onto here and this side will be charged so i'll stay with delilah if you want to keep come here delilah come here come here pig henry will keep following jamie to that back pen this is going to work out good come on henry she's snorting around like she's missed a pebble of food somewhere henry looks like he's going to check out the barn for a minute we've got him i'm going to try and leave her here there goes henry <laughs> Big tough guy. All right. I'm going to get this closed before Delilah comes. Come on. All right. There we go. You're staying there, honey. She's got a little wallow. We'll put a shade cloth up over that shortly. She's not too happy right now. But here's the scratching and rubbing anytime a boar moves. This is kind of what they do. Come on, bud. Come on, pig. Come on. He's getting big, huh? Yeah. Good looking. Yeah, very good looking, big. We say big. These pigs are a lot smaller than most breeds. If you guys have followed us along, you guys know that. But for our breed, he's getting nice, big, square shoulders. And he's getting to be a pretty solid pig, so... We're just going to drop him off in this pen and we'll bring another female. We don't ever want to keep them by themselves unless they're up in the barn there ready for piglets. Then we do keep them by themselves, obviously, but there's pigs next to them. So we're going to shut him in here. Come on, Henry. And he's got his shade cloth up. He's got a wallow there. Come on. Come on. There we go. One done. Well, halfway done, right? We've got to get a female in here for him. 
And I guess we probably could do that next. Grab the female first. Sure. Yeah. Who's gonna come in here with him? We're gonna try Betty White. Try Betty White and Henry. So I'm not even gonna hook this up. Betty White's over here. If you guys saw last video, we moved all the females. So she's a little bit closer than they have been. There's 12 females in here. So it'll be a little bit harder just to get one out, but it won't be the first time we've done it. Should not be a problem. Let's go turn the charger off first. All right, we're not gonna get shocked now. There's Betty White back up under the shade by the pool. Um, so that's gonna be the problem is... Come here, Betty. <laughs> as Jamie whispers to try to get her to follow the feed. Is that her coming? Yeah. Oh, of course, Phyllis. Phyllis, right? No, that's Joyce. <laughs> Joyce. Joyce is always one to come. Oh, now Willow hears him snorting. I'm going to have to think of an acronym for you to remember Joyce. Like, she's got dark hair like I do, J and J. There we go, Jamie and Joyce. <laughs> I always call her, who do I call her? Phyllis. Phyllis. And Phyllis is the ginger. Yeah, she's ginger. Yeah, I always get them Phyllis. wrong. There's Josie. Or I just called her Phyllis. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not just me. So, anyway, come on, Betty. Hi, Jojo. Betty's right here. Come on, Betty. Not you, Peggy. We want Betty. Oh man, Peggy was on the other side of her. I could have wrapped this fence around her. Here comes Connie and Claire. Nice that they're up here in the shade. Their waters and pool are right up there. The spot has worked out fantastic. So now just to get one pig out, not always the easiest. I'm gonna set this camera down and <laughs> be nice. And we're gonna try and just get Betty White out. Oh. oh yeah. Come on, baby. All right. Able to coax her out a little bit. Come on. Okay, great. <laughs> now we just got to get her to go the right direction, which is not towards the pig. She almost looks like she might be in heat. Does she a little bit? Yeah, she does, and she was trumpeting. <laughs> hey, we gotta go the other way. I do have a panel over here if we need it, but uh, come on. Come, come on, on Betty. Betty. Come on. And Betty is from Chloe. And Ryder. And Ryder. So she was born here on a farm. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we might need to get the uh, hog panel, which I've got one down here. So I'm gonna go grab that and see if we can get her across. All right, well, Betty is in and we won't know here for certain, but we think that she is in heat. She came in here and stood very still and did not want to move. So that's called a standing heat. Some things you can look for is there back end is swollen and they will just stand there we get that question a lot how do i know if my pigs in heat sometimes it's a lot harder to tell than other times but the way she's acting we think she might be in heat and once old uh henry here is done filling his face and realizes there's another pig in here with him we might know that for sure so we do have a wallow we've got a shade cloth over top of it and uh this is just another nice spot beautiful day so half of our move is done now. We've got Delilah up there. We've got to get them feed and water and we've got Henry and Betty White. So next is Smitten back here at the, uh, what is that thing? Pallet shelter. <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens here if she comes up to him. She might be a little scared of him. She can definitely see she's smaller. She's almost two now, isn't she? Um, I'm not even sure to be honest. Yeah. I'm sure she's she's at least 16 months. We won't yeah. put them in until they're at least 16 months. I think she's closer to two, but he's obviously bigger than her. But that is not, a, there's not a big enough difference that it matters. But uh, let's see. <laughs> let's watch for a minute and see if uh, she is in heat. I think you thought he was being challenged for a second. Yeah. You 
you see how she's standing and not moving. She might be in heat. Well, nothing yet, but I'm pretty sure she's in heat. What are they in heat for three days? Yeah. yeah. We don't know which day it is for her. So. Yeah, we're not sure if this is her first day or third day. So uh, he's definitely showing interest once he fills his face. <laughs> and she's showing interest because she is not moving. She's not scared. That's just called a standing heat. So let's get over. We've got Smitten and Ryder are out of their house now. So we'll grab Smitten and bring her over to the barn. Okay, we just made it over to Ryder and Smitten's pen and we were correct about uh, Henry and Betty White. She is definitely in heat and we will be expecting piglets here in uh, three months, three weeks, three days, just about four months. So I guess we timed that perfect without trying. That's pretty nice, but we'll give them some privacy. And uh, she, Smitten, definitely looks the most pregnant out of all of our mamas even though her due date is not before delilah's so i guess jamie was telling me how many piglets does she have she had like eight or nine i think piglets her first litter but she was at a different farm yeah so. she was at a different farm so this will be her first litter here at our farm yeah i'm not sure why he's trying to mount maybe he's getting excited he smells her <laughs> he's getting excited from betty white over there but uh, we'll try and get her out of here. Same thing. Um, get her up to the barn and then we are going to put Willow in with Ryder. Yes, I Willow's guess. gonna be in with Ryder. Perfect, all right, let's set this down. Wrap this fence around Smitten. She has not been on our farm very long, so she's not quite accustomed to the moves that we do. So we might need to grab that pig fence for her too, but we'll see what we can do. Come on, come on, all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they're easier than others fences off, so you're good. Hey, baby. Come on, pig. Come on. I'm gonna turn his fence back on. All right, number two is easier than number one. I guess I didn't give her enough credit. That's just a charger smitten. Let's go. All right, well, we will get her up to the barn as well. Come on, pig. She's, she's got the uh, molly tongue, doesn't she? Yes. She's having a hard time with that waddle. <laughs> yeah, I think we're moving her just in time. She's got over a week, but I'm not sure. She I'm might beginning not make to wonder enough. if we got our dates wrong. Yeah. Time will tell, but she is definitely <laughs> a load coming down the road. Come on. Grabbing a little bit of, <laughs> just grabbing a snack before she, thank you for weeding the door for me. Appreciate that. So that went <laughs> a lot easier than expected. She is just a great pig, great personality. Doesn't seem, she's kind of got the uh, Phil and uh, Molly attitude. She's just along for the ride, doesn't really care what's going on very docile temperament, but uh, we are excited to see. You can see she's been dragging the ground for, I don't know, a week or so now. Um, yeah. It, it's real close, so excited to be getting piglets again here. Um, the next pig we'll bring over, which she's a little a couple weeks later, is Barb, and we'll put Barb right in the middle here. It was just easier to put Smitten here on the end. She does have a wallow that will get filled up and we're gonna put a shade cloth over top of that. And Delilah, same thing. She's got a wallow right there. And so we've got a couple shade cloths to get put up, but we are just a couple weeks from piglets. So I'm sure you're excited about seeing some piglets. We're excited about having piglets again. We've got one last thing to do before we let you guys go and that is get Willow over to Ryder. So let's get him a partner in his pen. Bean. Bean. There's one. There's Willow. 
I take that to Mama. That was easy. She's gonna go in with Ryder, who we just took. Oh, who was that? Smitten? Yes. <laughs> just took Smitten out of there. I'm gonna turn the fence back on. Do we wanna get Bean now or no? Nah, we're thinking about putting her daughter, Willa Bean. <laughs> She's trying to get to the food. Come on, come on. Yeah, man. We're thinking about putting Willa Bean in with Shiloh. Since Shiloh and Ryder are brothers, Willow and Smitten are mother Willow daughter. Willow and Willa Bean. Willow and Willa Bean <laughs> are mother and daughter. Glad you're here to keep me clear on things. Um, we can't breed their offspring anyway, so we might move Willa Bean back with, oh, who is he? Shiloh. Shiloh, thank you. Here shortly, but once we get everybody situated around, we'll show you who is in with who. Willow is an easy mover. And uh, we're going to just take her across back with Ryder, who is by himself now. And it will be fun to compare Ryder and Smitten's babies with Ryder and Willow's babies, because they look very similar. Yes, we have a thing for the uh, high white pigs. We really like them. We like them all, but something about the high whites we really like. So Yeah, hey. we just keep ending up with more and more of them. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on, Willow. Come around. You don't need the fence. Let's go. All right, you want to toss him? Yep. Is it off? It is now. I'm glad you checked. Toss him some food, and that way we can get her in. Come on. Come on, Willow. Come here. Come on, pig. You can go in there with him. Come on. <laughs> You gotta show her the way. There we go. Easy peasy. Need a little more. All right, she does not look like she is in heat. Not sure when her heat cycle is, but we'll pay attention to that. Um, Ryder will be excited even though she, she looks like smitten. He might be a little confused. I'm sure he's not. I'm sure he probably can smell the difference, but anyway. That is another litter coming up later this summer. Um, we'll be excited. I'm, is litter, I think Willow's had two litters with us. Yes. Yeah, so we'll turn this back on. And uh, Henry and Betty White, <laughs> she's, she's trying to get his attention now. They were just rolling around in the wallow, which I'm glad that they were able to find that and get cooled down. I think it's still hell yeah it's still got water in it but so that is always exciting it's nice we don't plan it but it just times out perfectly and that she is in heat and he was interested so that'll be exciting to have piglets we are going to uh <laughs> i don't know what he's doing but he is excited to be in here so Anyway, that's good. Glad we got those moved. We will have piglets coming up here. It's going to be a couple weeks yet, but be looking forward to those videos. We sh what did we put in? Eight? Put in we eight put sows? In eight to have eight litters, but we we're not so sure if all of them took. We know two didn't take, but... Yeah, so we'll have five or six at least, hopefully. Be looking forward to those. Um, barns cleaned out. We've got the fences put up. It's all mowed. Everything's looking good. We're going to continue moving pigs around. Next video will show you where everybody is at, but uh, we're just excited to show you these couple moves today. We hope you're having a great week. We appreciate you following along, and don't forget, Jane? To make the change. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video.